County has 11,000 lane miles spread out over 883 square miles. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Billings with CCTV News You Can Use. I'm here with Gary Hale from the Charlotte County Punta Gorda Metropolitan Planning Organization to learn how we're planning for the future. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Okay. What is the Multipro Metropolitan Planning Organization? Well, we're a planning organization. We, uh, we're housed in the county, but we're not part of the county. We uh, represent the county, of course, uh, also the Charlotte County Airport Authority, and also the city of Punta Gorda. And uh, the MPO, as I'll refer that, M you know, Metropolitan Planning Organization, I'll refer to it as the MPO. The MPO actually consists of uh, five elected uh, officials three from the county, one from the airport, and one from the city. And uh, we are, I am uh, the MPO director, I'm part of their staff that uh, uh, allows them to uh, do the work that they do. Now one of the things that they do, we are established by federal statute so that uh, federal transportation dollars are able to be expended in Charlotte County and that's part of it. Now there's a lot of other transportation dollars that are expended in Charlotte County and it uh, comes from the, the local taxpayers, the 1% sales tax and the, uh, many different sources. But uh, you know, we don't get involved in those but because we plan transportation uh, using federal dollars we are an integral part of the piece that comes into, into that. Okay. When we talk about plans, let's talk a little bit about what types of plans, you, how far into the distance you're planning, and are, is it just roads or is it bike and pedestrian? Okay. Well, we do we do it all. It, the term is multimodal, which means that anyhow you get around, you walk, you bike, you ride, you, uh, you fly in airplanes, uh, buses, uh, uh, Charlotte County Transit is, is part of it. So any way that people get around, we're interested in uh, having an impact and supporting uh, through through that way. Tell me about the bike and pedestrian plan. This is something that is unique to the MPO and something that I've been wanting to see for the, at least since I've been here and I've been you know, with the MPO for 17 years. It's a master plan for bicycle pedestrian that portion of travel. Uh, we've worked very closely with the county. Uh, we are you know it's uh, we're, we're, we're using part of the one percent sales tax to uh, put this plan together because what we've found is there's a lot of different plans that have come together that have been made in the city and the county, uh, the airport for bicycles and pedestrians, but they're all separate and they don't necessarily have a policy. I'll give you one good example of, uh, of what I think is a positive uh, policy that's happened. If you look at the the sidewalks that the county is building throughout the, the county, Charlotte County Public Works and the, uh, the uh, construction that they have, they're a minimum of eight feet. And that's so that bicycles and pedestrians uh, can use them at the same time. What are some of the challenges that we face in Charlotte County? Well, one of the things, the way our transportation system is laid out now, uh, uh, the greatest generation wasn't looking at moving back to bicycles. There is a change and when, when I first started, most, uh, most of the citizens would say, why would you want to build something? We're not, we don't ride bicycles here. As the uh, demographics are changing and we're starting to get the baby boomers coming in there, I'm being asked, how come there aren't bicycle pedestrian facilities in the area? So we're, we're reacting to the input of the uh, citizens that are coming and moving into the county and, and, and that live here. And, but the, the real challenge is uh, there's a lot of space, there's a lot of give and take. You don't just build a sidewalk, you don't just build a bike trail you, you know, in a different place if there's not enough room to, to do that. So there's, uh, there's, we've got challenges and that's, what we're, that's part of the thing that we're trying to uh, identify right now. How can residents participate? We have a wonderful new technological system. It's called Wikimaps. Uh, you can go online to Charlotte County uh, uh, a website. You can go on to the Charlotte County Punta Gorda MPO website and go to that and a map will pop up and you can click anywhere on that map where you know there's an issue or you want to make a comment. Very good. So, Thank you. All right, Elizabeth. To find out more information about the Charlotte County MPO, you can visit our website at charlottecountyfl.gov. I'm Elizabeth Billings reporting for CCTV, news you can use.